I want me donkey van back, guys. I can't handle it anymore. I need, I need my donkey back. I, I've been donkeyless for too long. I, you don't know what you got till it's gone, mate. Yay! Got these deliveries coming in that only the donkey can do. Bruce 2 kind of stinks. I'm gonna yell at you another day. Just a recap, like, she was a bit smoky for a while, but always just faultlessly reliable. Always ran really good. Um, and then we put the magical can of stuff in it, and then it got really bad, and then it got so bad that now, like, it's lost compression on some of the cylinders. I I'm hoping it's a head gasket. I, I hope it's not like a burnt valve or something. That'd be awful, because <laughs> then this isn't getting fixed anytime soon. But first stage is just the autopsy. Like, what happened to you? What did that can do to you? I love that this is a really, really common motor. Like, they, they use this in heaps of stuff. And so look at this goofy intake system they've got all set up. Like, it's just crap running all over the place. Such a Mitsubishi kind of thing. <laughs> just take what you got and smash it in and make it work. Apparently this whole section doesn't want to come out. It's not very easy. I can't wait to see this intake come out because this is one of the most weird hodgepodge looking things I've seen on a car. Like clearly adapting something they've already got to fit in a weird body shape. Yeah. <laughs> Look at this dingus thing. <laughs> I mean, Jane, would you say that this is for like, re like getting rid of intake noise or yeah, something? It's to change the engine noise. It must have sounded bad. Uh, well, like you care in a lumpy old van. <laughs> All of this is bespokely shaped to fit that old engine into this stupid thing. That's gross. And then this huge intake, like it sucks in the air here, runs all along here, near the hot engine, so it's not a cold air intake anymore, and then into the box, and then into this huge dingus thing. Mitsubishi! The more you're removing, the less fun and easy this is becoming. Should be right. Mm, well, that's the plugs out. And they're not awful, but they're... <laughs> They're pretty black and gross looking. I, I was just gonna have the head ripped off, but James wants to do a compression test, which is, you know, the best thing to do. Cause it sounds like it's low on like maybe two cylinders or something. Yeah, it's this gauge, which just, you know, it calculates the squeezing as to how much squeezing it squeezes. That's not good. Stop. Uh, that's not good. What do we got? Uh, 20 PSI? That's heaps. It's like a footy. Number three, go. So that's definitely a head gasket blown between numbers two and three. All right, last one, go. That's a head gasket, baby. Yeah, that's a head so gasket. So in between the two pistons is like a thin layer, and if that blows out, then it just blows into each other, and you get that doesn't sound good. Stop thinking about it. And uh, this is a horrible predicament because um, there's this pile of junk on the hoist, and you want the even better news? We don't have the wheels for it because they're being reconditioned. So uh, we don't we don't know what to do. So, the greatest problem in the world is happening. Um, I thought these would just be 4x100s, and so you could just you know, go to the wreckers, get some stocky wheels on it, so we can just lower the car down, get it out, get my sweet, sweet donkey up on the hoist so we can actually get it fixed because it's agony leaning over the engine all day. Um, no, they're 4x110s, and basically nothing other than RX-7s and charades and vintage Toyotas use 4x110. Um, so, so we can't get wheels for it. And it's now descended into madness where like, this is now an option. James is concocting probably one of the worst ideas I've ever seen. So the back of the car is gonna go on this and the front of the car is gonna go on our sweet, sweet, cromulent quality engine hoist. Well, we're gonna have to clean all this up though, cause it's gonna be stop rock central for those wheels. Oh no, James. Have we really succumbed to this? Definitely. We're turning it into a skateboard. Oh, it's gonna snap this in half. Oh, 
I think I've got it on the front, but I'm not entirely talking to it. Ugh, it's a skateboard. What if we need this to change the donkey motor because it's not worth fixing? I hope we'll have wheels by then. Oh. <laughs> Look, and now I've learned it's actually worse up here. James has got the wood going. He's got some old metal that he found going. This is the old mate special big time. <laughs> it is not handled good on the casters. Right? It's like a wayward shopping trolley. The deed has been done and we never speak of this again. Stop looking at it. So already the coolant reservoir is dry. So we don't know where that coolant's gone because I swear it never drips. This thing's leaking already. It's just dumped all of its fluid all over itself. And so like this is basically brand new and it's only done one previous job. Already junk. <laughs> when are the good tools coming back? Oh, we get to see what the coolant looks. Oh, it's clear. I thought it was going to be Mudville. James found stop leak stuff. Hey, I'm not getting a good focus on the gold sparklies. Oh yeah, those gold sparklies. I mean, this is its second motor apparently, so. But this is looking nice. This is really clean looking. Gunk, 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 clean. It's clean. That's really nice. It's a weird color. What's the color from? Just oil or what? Uh, I don't know. Hmm, oh, it's fine. <laughs> Oh mate, look, she's high performance. She's got rollers. Roller cam. Whoa, sports van. Look at the little baby valves too. They're super cute. Look, this has been rubbing on something. Like that, which is weird because the cover wasn't rubbing, was it? Are there marks on the inside? Oh. I hope so. No. Oh, it's clean and good. I mean, not a little There's bit. There's a mark there, but that's not the belt. That's... Mm. So James, this was a nightmare, wasn't it? <laughs> it? There's not much room in there. No. Wasn't much fun. No. Uh, right, so here we see if the, if the head gasket's bad. Or we've got a hole in a piston or something. Ooh. Oh goody, it drips oil. Oh. Oh, the head gasket's heaps bad. Oh, it's gone in my sock. <laughs> uh. Oh no. What it smells really bad. That's blown very. Wow! What? That's <laughs> heaps blown. I bet you that's what the smell was. It was probably <laughs> the burning metal. Because it was, I told you it was a death smell. Mm. Oh, what the heck's that all about? Yeah. Why? Weird. Why would the spray do that? I don't know. Because like, that's the kind of car that you would put that kind of spray through. You know, something that's a bit rough. I can only think that it's compression locked it or something. I don't know. That's weird. We followed the instructions. Yeah, that's it. Like, oh, are they bent valves or is no, that just... No, That's the cam still in. Okay. Oh, the pistons. <laughs> just so greasy and sooty looking. Oh, we can finally see the bores. I mean, this one's got crunchies on it. I won't know until I clean it, but it looks okay to me. Hmm. Tiny bit of a lip. Yeah. Um, the lip means wear. I mean, the balls don't look very good. <laughs> they wouldn't, with how it smells and how it runs. I mean, look, it's it's, it's pitting for days. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, so it doesn't need rings. It needs a full rebuild. <laughs> oh, we can't put a head gasket on this rubbish. Um, I mean, we can. It'll work. <laughs> See, the, the killer thing is, I wanted that can of stuff to be put through it because I finally have equipment to measure 0 to 100 times G-forces. I wanted to do like a fuel economy run on this, and I, I still want to get those numbers from this engine. So, damn it, let's do the head gasket, <laughs> even if it's just for a little bit. All uh, right, I just want this dirty fix. Like, I don't want to rebuild this head. I don't want to do any of that stuff. Literally head gasket and send it. So hopefully that hasn't burnt into the metal. That's going to cause like a dip because then it's game over. I got to put a straight edge on it, but that looks good by eye. Uh -huh. Well, that's, that's good for me. James said this pitting is worse than the Daihatsu free car. Like <laughs> that's how this has been limping along this entire time. Like, of course it smelt bad. I don't like that. I don't like cars that blow smoke, but I just got to get the information out of this thing before we actually, you know, fix it proper uh, at some point. Hey, James, what's that sound? It's the sound of waiting for parts. I was wondering what sound was happening. Welcome to, to this is what happens with cars, like, you know, waiting, raring to go, but you got to wait for the bits for your stupid old car that people aren't really doing anything with anymore. Uh, 
James, your like diagnosis was that maybe that spray just really increased exhaust temperatures. Either and that or it or it compression locked, but probably just high exhaust temps. Yeah. Yeah, because it was melted. Like that's hot. Mm. That's really hot. And considering that this ring is designed to be under compression and fire. So that, that is so weird for it to blow out. It must have already been letting go or something. You can see it's burnt through this side and then blown in through that way. <laughs> Yuck, that's uh, so messy. Well, I'm glad none of these bits fell in. Well, I mean, maybe they did. Well, uh, can't wait to spend all this time uh, on an engine that is absolutely effed. Yay. It's absolutely effed. <laughs> it is. <laughs>